Hi fellow traders, I hope everybody had a great trading day. Uh, today was kind of an up and down and more down day for me. And I honestly thought it was, I just didn't have the rhythm. You know, I, I, I was just out of sync or whatever, but I looked at my trades and I didn't see anything wrong with them. It was more my mindset you know and i don't know it i just had the wrong mindset today um you know my tuesday and wednesday i got frustrated because my routine got messed up um i thought we were done with holiday but we weren't and you know family wise and it everything was just out of sorts so today coming Coming into the day, I felt, hey, we're going to have a good, clean day. And it started out pretty good, but, you know, one bad trade threw me off. And I just never really could recover. And that's something that I have to, you know, work on. You know, I have to put forth that that extra effort to, to make sure that my mentality, that my mental toughness stays in intact you know that i can't let something not like that just kind of throw me off my game but you know what i have today up here success equals the sum of small repeated efforts and that's what we're doing in trading that's what we're learning you know there's there's small repeated efforts day after day after day that helps build us up and it helps us get to the next level and that's how we're going to build our success. You know, and I talked about this earlier in the week. You know, how we all look to try to get there quick. We want to try to get rich quick. We want to make the money the fastest that we can make it. And what it does, it just puts us in a bad position. Puts us in the wrong mindset. And our expectations are skewed. You know, I... Just today, I went through and looked, and there's a lot of people posting, you know, these big wins in, you know, 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. And, you know, for the average person, it's not, that's not sustainable. You may hit it every now and then. I've made a bunch of money in five minutes or 10 minutes before. But it's not sustainable. It doesn't happen over and over and over. And if you go chasing that, you know, it doesn't it, it doesn't end well. You know, so we have to make sure that we stay on course and that our our small repeated efforts, you know, starting trade starting small and growing, you know, all of that helps you get to the next level. So we have to be honest with ourselves. I have to be honest. Every day I assess myself, I have to be 100% honest and transparent. You know, am I putting forth the effort? You know, is there something that I could have done different? You know, did I, was I lazy today? You know, there's something that caused, you know, me to go, go haywire. So we'll take a look at my trades here and show you what I am talking about. So LB, this was the opening range um, breakdown. Here was the opening range right here. The opening range low. So this candle opened, pushed up. I could have got it here, but for me, I'm sticking to my strategy um, until I get back to where I was but yeah this was another entry off the VWAP here but I waited till we cracked five minute open range low um, covered some here and we just never this was an accident um, I was trying to put in my next cover and somehow this happened to me twice today so I don't know if it was something wrong with the ARCA route because it defaults to ARCA. And when I change it to limit, it works fine. 
but this happened to me twice today that I put in a target and it automatically filled. Um, but then here I had to stop out, you know, break even as we were moving back up. This was not a bad trade, not a bad look. It was executed, just a little, you know, mental mistake here. But either way, if I hadn't have taken profit here, I would have stopped out here anyway. So this actually helped me make a little bit more money. Um, so I waited. I got reengaged again, um, shorted under this level. Again, I could have taken it short here, but I'm being a little bit more conservative. And I got I waited till we cracked this level. I got short, and of course we traded sideways for about 20 minutes before we got down to this 49.28 level here, where I I took some off and ended up going back stopping me out at break even so all in all this wasn't bad for a stock that just didn't follow through now this gave some pretty big moves later on in the day and this is the result of me not staying focused it was this sq trade that really took me out of sync you know that really took me off off course so, you no, know, LB was fine. This was a pretty decent trade. You know, it was good profit for the morning. And I really could have nailed this and got six, $700 off of this had I stayed engaged and traded it and followed the plan that I have coming into 2018. So I jumped on SQ. And, you know, I, I thought we were breaking out. Now, you know, we broke out over. This is the five-minute opening range high. We broke out over this. And, you know, I waited for this candle to close. This candle opened, started to push up. So I got in. Just like I, I like to. And I really got angry with this. But the reality is, there was nothing wrong with what I did. I did exactly what I do all the time it's just that the move failed and you know maybe I should have gotten out here you know once we closed below but I held for a bounce here and I mean I was holding for a bounce off of this but it took me out at my max loss you know I couldn't hold it I had to stick to my max loss now would I have been able to get out of this unscathed yeah but i said i wasn't gonna hold past my max loss which was 300 on this trade the potential was you know 600 plus so i i, I left i had to get out of it you know and i if i did it if i traded this tomorrow i would have to trade it the same way i would have to get out um, the, the other mistake I made on this is I went in too heavy. I was was supposed to get in 500 shares. I'm not supposed to be trading a thousand shares right now. Um, I'm not fully engaged in the week. Um, and I was supposed to be trading 500 shares, but I accidentally went in too heavy. And I think that might have gotten me a little bit irritated too. Because that way, it didn't allow me to hold and test this level. Had I been in 500 shares, I would have been able to let this test. And I would have been to the good. So, you know, that was what just really irritated me. And then that was it. I was done. You know, I, I had to take a take a chill pill and, and take a walk. Um, and you see this INTC, this was an accident. Um... And this probably led to some of my frustration too because I was trying to get in um, I was trying to put in a target on LB and had changed the um, my montage and accidentally got in I was well I was on a montage that was separate from what I was working on I don't use hotkeys I just have groups and montages that 
I use and I just got kind of fouled up on this so you can see I got in at right at 939 and 10 seconds later I got out you know it was just I need to get out of this um, but you know all in all I was I was I was upset with myself and I let myself get too too irritated too agitated to where I just couldn't bring myself back and so end of the day on day trading 1957 now if you saw my video last night I shared with you the two swing trades I held overnight I'm looking for a gap down on INTC and SCG so we're gonna look at those and like I promised I'm sharing my platform in the swing trade room you're seeing me enter like I mean really it's nothing much to see because not a whole lot happens but you know you're seeing me actually take the trade and I don't like to add anything or show any gains that I don't show in chat or that you can't see so I said I was going to start recapping my swing trades and that's what we're going to do here um, now you don't have the entry on here because this was yesterday and that's the one thing I hate about DOS you know they did it with sure trader they do it with speed trader that it doesn't hold the entry from the previous day um, you know that's why so I'm probably gonna have to use the think and swim charts to um, show you the entry and the exits you know I can manually put it on there I can't manually mark them on here but um, you saw I got in INTC yesterday and you know on this candle here and Let's see. Oh no, this is SCG. I'm sorry. We'll do this one first. So I got in um, SCG yesterday, and what happened this morning? I was still holding. We didn't get the gap down, but I was still holding this. And this is a local company, and I've been following this, and I've been shorting this since September, and it's paid very well, and. I was looking for this thing to gap down because like I said last night there is a deal on the table but it has to be approved and if it doesn't get approved then it's not gonna work and I think that this company that's buying it out you know just might say hey look this isn't gonna work because they have to refund and pay back a lot of investors that are customers you know, customers, there was money to coming out of the customer's um, electric bill to fund this nuclear project, this nuclear plant project. All of these customers need their money back. Um, the, the state was giving, you know, a lot of concessions. You know, there's a lot of things that have to be settled before um, this, this thing can take place. So, you know, we have to, we have to look at that. And, and that's what I was looking at. I was trying to, um, you know, so when the news came out that they're about to have a, a um, press conference and they were about to announce something, I got out. So I bailed out, you know, for a little loss. And then once everything settled back down, I got back in. So, you know, I got back in and I'm still in this short. You know, I'm still in a piece. We actually got down to a profit target that I didn't even know we were going to get to. So it took half my position off. So I'm holding, you know, half a position overnight. I'm still holding this. But we did lock in a little bit of profit. But you can see I held... This and I held INTC 500 shares overnight. And you saw the entries. I shared them on the video yesterday. 
Um, so now look at IMTC. This is the other swing I had. Um, this one is a, this was the other one that I was trying to put my target in for for right here on this level. <clears throat> and you know it defaults to ARCA. And as soon as I typed it in and sent the order, it filled. It didn't fill at the price I put it in. It filled at the price that we were at right now. And it wasn't a market order. It was a, a limit order that should have been routed through ARCA. So I felt, I figured that was, might have been the issue today. So I just did regular limit orders. But since I had to take profit here, well, I didn't have to. It accidentally took it off here. Um, it kind of fouled up my trade plan so I had to put my stop up here just over 44 and you know I ended up getting stopped out on on the rest which was still a decent profit um, let's see yeah 511.75 not bad but it should have been a thousand dollar plus trade once this was all said and done but I'll be watching this tomorrow to see about getting in um, I was looking to get in after close, you know, if it showed me what I wanted to see, but it didn't. So I'll wait till tomorrow and look to see if I could get in. What I wanted to do is close this gap. Okay, we made it down to this level here. This is where it bounced. But if we get through here, I want to I want to close this gap up. Um, so that that was the big move I was looking for. So we'll be looking for that. Um, so adding my trading profits together, like I said, we're going to do, we're going to add swing trades and day trades. Um, Tuesday, I didn't have any swing trade profits. Wednesday, no, I didn't take any or I didn't close any positions. Um, you can see Wednesday was the bad day, um, almost of $500 red um, that was a the bad day but the day we came back is pretty decent it's almost a wash so kind of starting Friday you know fresh so if we have a solid day Friday I'll be happy I'm looking for a solid day trading day Friday um, that, that's that if I get that I'll be ecstatic but what I'm showing this year is how you you use swing trading to really supplement your day trading. Because if I didn't have these swings, this would have been another red day. And, you know, you have too many of those. It starts messing with your confidence. And it's and you have to end up going back to square one. And I, I don't want to go back to square one. I want to build off of the momentum we had toward the end of December. So that's what we're working towards. So you're going to see more swing trades. We're working on it more in chat, more in the community. Um, the classes are going strong. They're going to continue you know, for all the members. So I encourage you to, you know, if you're a member, to see, watch the classes. If you don't have time to be in class, watch the video. I send the links out after each class so you can see them. And it's only going to help... Um, enhance your trading all right so that's gonna do it for me today i hope you guys have a great night great evening and we'll see you bright and early in the morning see if we can end the week strong and you know get ourselves ready to enjoy this weekend so have a good one and i'll see you guys in the morning